let him see it, let him see you. Oh, 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 oh. If I miss a week, then I kind of like double up. Aren't you proud of me? If you're proud of me, click the notifications, the bells, the all of that. Comment below. I've been reading y'all comments, and I want you to know I love you so much. I appreciate y'all fight, fighting for me. Anybody that try to come on here and talk some mess, y'all be on their head. And I just want to say I love you. I really do love you. I really do mean it. Um, if I don't know your name, I am always calling out y'all faces like lord you know who they are they be in my comments and they be looking out for me lord bless them so um i just want to say thank you so much but today is press day for um the lifetime movie i can't believe i'm doing movies y'all okay, okay. I, I can't believe it y'all know tt is here so hey, hey. Um, we just got back from la for um it was a really cool session we did a session with um, Jonathan McReynolds, Maverick, well Chandler and Naomi of Maverick. It was for iHeartRadio and a really good friend was producing it, Markel Ringer. So it was really special um, and it really, it was inspiring also. So can't wait for you guys to see that. Um, I hope I didn't tell too much. I don't think I did though because we posted about it. So nope, I keep a secret well, yeah. Um, but today is press day for Lifetime's movie Line Sisters. And I am, I've had the pleasure of working with some tremendous women. Um, Taronda Jones, I think you might be familiar with her from Empire. Um, Drew Sedora, you know, I think we did Preacher's Kid together, but she's done some other stuff as well. I think now she's in uh, one of the Housewives uh, reality shows. And then um, Latoya Luckett. Y'all know Latoya, she's legend, um, doing her thing in so many other TV series and all of that. So, today is a really special day. Um, what else do I have to do today? It's actually chill today um, because we went virtual for church and prayer this week. We were doing 22 days of prayer. Are y'all doing that with us? Um, but that's the day today, so we'll do that. And I'm just going to give you a glimpse. Y'all see I'm in glam. Y'all see tears beating my face. Let's see what she gonna do today. Apply the pressure. <laughs> What's Ari Lennox song? Pressure. Yes. Pressure. Pressure. Hey. So that's it. Um, and yeah, I'm excited about the film. Um, it's a thriller. Thrillers are like the more milder, scary films, right? Yeah. Okay. It's a thriller. Um, it's gonna be on Lifetime, February 22nd. Is that right? I can't believe you're in a thriller movie. I know. <laughs> I am Cassandra. This film was really, um, really risky, but it's super special. Um, it's about me being uh, a part of a sorority. I guess I can tell y'all this. This is the description. Line Sisters follows four sorority sisters, Valerie, Cassandra, Simona, and Dominique, as they reunite at Black Greek Weekend celebration held on the Outer Banks of North Carolina. North Carolina, come on and stand up. Take your shirt off. Spin it around your head. Like, you know that song I'm saying? Yes. No, you didn't. You remember that song? <laughs> Barely. See? Very, you never know my song. Meanwhile, Scoop like Petey Pablo. <laughs> what did you? Petey Pablo. Okay. Um, help, uh, having pledged the Alpha Beta um, Omega Sorority Incorporated, they share more than um, the bonds of sisterhood after the mysterious death of Adina pledges 15 years prior. But the past, well, thank God I can read, honey. Uh, but the the cast. Uh oh. As soon as I say I can read, I start stuttering. <laughs> But the, uh, so dumb. <laughs> okay, but the past comes knocking on their door as they arrive to the island and strange and inexplicable things begin to happen Sorry, to each one of them threatening to unearth the deadly secret that may tear them apart. I love reading because reading uh, it stretches my it has me to think now like I want to 
use the vocabulary that they just use to express myself. And then when I go and talk to my friends, they be like, you're just doing too much. Just say what you're trying to say. <laughs> I'm like, you've unearthed me. Um, it doesn't even feel right like to say you unearthed me. It feels me. undaunted. <laughs> um, right. Why are you saying unearthed? What? <laughs> Can you imagine what you're saying? I'm just looking at you like, okay. Why are we this way? Okay. So, anyways, um, I'm excited. Got questions today. Um, ex executively or executive produced by D'Angela Proctor and Leslie Grief and um, Talia Brown. Talia Brown directs. Uh, from a script written by Jasmine S. Green and Scott Mullen. I'm excited. So special! So that's the day today. And then I go out of town this weekend. We'll probably capture that. So yeah. Let's see how I go. I'm just give y'all a glimpse of the interview. And uh, that's it. Love you guys. So y'all have been asking about the house. We're not all the way settled in yet, but I'm gonna just show you some of my favorite rooms so far. Uh oh, I'm turning it into MTV crib. <laughs> but um, that room over there that Scoop is gonna show you, we just show y'all the details. You probably can tell this chair I sit in. It's not clean, my shoes over there are crocs, so you can tell where I usually sit in. Um, but that's my favorite and I can't wait for it to be done. Um, especially like the deck, because uh, yeah, I go over there and drink my tea and I listen to my podcast. I love my kitchen. Um, yes, that's it. And I'll show y'all the dining room in the living room. Saturday, February 12th at 8, only on Lifetime. Toya Luckett, Kiara Sheard Kelly, Taronda Jones, and Drew Sedora. Hello. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Hey. 
<laughs> Thank you all for being here. Our first question is for all of you, the whole cast. What drew each of you to your roles and how did you prepare for that? I second all of what they said, all of the energy. <laughs> I wanted to be a, a part of the sorority too. Uh, Cassandra was a woman of faith and so that is what I am. So I was the, the one that was praying the sisters through when it got strange, <laughs> which that usually is what I am doing. And I am um, a sister or women's empowerment advocate. Um, so that really was just my thing too. And these women are amazing, every last one of them. So I was excited to just glean from each and every one of them myself. Um, are any of you actually part of a sorority? Not at no. all. <laughs> <laughs> Only ABO now. All right. ABO. <laughs> okay, so another question. During the filming process, did any of you actually get frightened for real? I did. I did. That water. <laughs> The water, I, I think all of the sisters could swim. I couldn't swim, so I kept looking back at them like, uh, y'all go y'all go help me out if something don't go down, right? So that was really nervous about that. And I was actually in the process of um my grandfather was sick and I just lost him to COVID. And so I was really drawing that passion um and that fear from that space to kind of have me drop in. Um, but that was my experience behind and in the scenes. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thank All you. right, thank you, ladies. I didn't mean thank to end you. it on that note like thank that. <laughs> Our next question is from Suzanne from TV Med. Hi, ladies. Um, did any of you know each other before filming, or had you worked together before? No, yes. but felt like it. Not, not me, but it felt like it. I feel like I've been knowing these girls for a long time because the chemistry was out of this world when we first linked up, so it was amazing. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Kiera and I actually, um, my first film ever, Preacher's Kid, yeah. uh, we played somewhat like best friends. We sang mm -hmm. in the same choir together. Yeah. Um, so it was so cool, and I'm a huge fan of hers. Um, I listen and, and listen to her and her worship music and all of that mm -hmm. daily. So um, to be in the space